Hi, this is Pastor Lane, and we have a real special treat. We have some East Side Lutheran history with us today. I would like to introduce to you Pastor Kermit and Doris Rye. Yeah, nice to see you guys today. Thank you for inviting me into your home. Thank you for coming. Well, let me start by saying um, you have a long history with East Side. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how it all got started? I grew up on a farm down near Irene, and after graduating from high school about 72 years ago, I came to Sioux Falls and became a member of East Side. 72 years ago, that's a nice long run. Yeah. It is. Well, when, when were you ordained as a pastor, Kermit? It was 62 years ago, uh, my ordination. Uh, I graduated from Luther Seminary and uh, was ordained at East Side. Right at East Side? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, that's excellent. Well, the two of you have been in ministry together, and I say that because I know husbands and wives um, in this call experience lots of things together. So, Doris, why don't you tell me a little bit about where you guys have lived and served? When we were married in 1963, Kermit was already serving in Elk Point, South Dakota. So that was our first parish together. And then from there, we went to Grundy Center, Iowa, and spent almost 15 years there, and then moved to Esterville, Iowa, where we finished um, his years of ministry, and he retired in 1960, was it? No, 80s. 1996. 1996. 1996. Okay. Well, that's wonderful. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your family? Uh, we have three children. Our oldest son, Steve, is a pastor at Baxter, Minnesota. Okay. Our second son is a staff attorney for the Iowa Supreme Court in Des Moines. And our daughter, Sonia, is a teacher in Iowa City. We have five grandchildren. Uh, the oldest uh, just graduated, no, oldest son, uh, grandson just graduated from uh, from St. Olaf College. Uh, his sister, who's a bit older, is a, uh, an, uh, an accountant. Uh, an accountant in uh, Minneapolis. Okay. So, well, it sounds like you have some pretty impressive kids and grandkids as well. We're pleased. Yeah. Yes. Well, what do the two of you like to do for fun now that you um, are in retirement? Well, we both like to use water exercises. I swim laps, and Doris is involved in water exercises. Water exercises. Okay. And uh, for me, I enjoy playing ping pong, and uh, I enjoy doing wood woodworking as well. Uh, there's several computer games that that, I, that entertain me too. Well, it sounds like you find no shortage of things to keep you guys occupied. No. Yeah. Well, you have had a long career in ministry. You said you'd been, um, what, 62 years? Right. And you're not done yet. You are on staff at Eastside. Um, talk a little bit about what you do still for, for Eastside. Well, I have visited uh, the shut-ins of the congregation um, and share communion with them, have a devotional, and, uh, and visit with them. I know that when we are not in a pandemic, you are visiting just about every nursing home in the city, it seems like. And um, something people might not know about you is, you are also quite a singer. And I've had more than one person tell me that um, when you come to visit, one of the things they enjoy is if you are able to sing or lead them in hymns. Have you always been a singer? I did sing in the Augustana Choir, the a cappella choir, and uh, found that extremely exciting. We took a trip to Washington, D.C. Uh, for the last uh, year that Dr. Youngdahl was the, was the director. Oh, I bet that was a fun, fun thing to do when you were in college. Yeah. And look at that. The gift has remained with you for all these years. 
Well, these are but two of the people in our lives at Eastside Lutheran. Wonderful people. I think it would be great for all of you to reach out and say hi and thank you for uh, Pastor Kermit and Doris's um, continued ministry for all of these years. But also, may they be an inspiration for you to use the gifts God has given you that other people might be blessed. Thank you guys again. So fun to visit with you and to be in your home. Thank you.